Director, students, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Dobre Jel, Kak Priyata Abjad, Kak Priyata Abjad, Priyat, Priyat, I'll try again. Peter Ashni, Peter Boy. Okay. should be a lot better, I agree. Uh, but it's uh, fantastic to be back in St. Petersburg, which was what I was trying to say. Um, and uh, before I start, I just wanted to also say uh, that, um, uh, of course, uh, education is important, and higher education is important. And that is why this is part of uh, the official program, even though the, the visit this time to, uh, to Russia is short. Uh, I also wanted to say uh, that I, I just was in the Olympics uh, a few weeks back. Uh, well, uh, week back. Uh, and it was fantastic. Um, I very much enjoyed it. It was truly impressive. Also, what your athletes were able to do. Uh, 13 goals, right? 33 medals. Yeah, you beat us. <laughs> it was quite, a, quite an achievement on the Russian part. Now, let's turn to today's topic. The cooperation between Russia and Norway within the fields of education, scientific research and trade. I have looked forward to visiting you here at the Baltic State Technical University. This is an institution with a long and proud tradition. Looking at the pictures on the walls in this auditorium fills me with the respect for Russia's great research achievement. Yuri Gagarin is him, right? Him? <laughs> Him. There we go. Thank you for your guidance there. Yes, yeah, says it. Yeah, to the right. There we go. The first man in space and still inspire us through his words. Orbiting Earth in this spaceship, I saw how beautiful our planet is. People, let us preserve and increase this beauty, not destroy it. I greatly appreciate the close and 23-year-long collabor collaboration between Bojenovic and the University of Lula. A few pioneers took the initiative, and today, more than two decades later, you and many others have been able to take part of your master's degree in another country. As I have un understood, most of you are studying um, or have studied trade, business and management. Is that right? Yeah. Trade and business are fundamental forms of human interaction and crucial aspects of bilateral relations. Your course in the sustainable management is valuable, very valuable in this context. I have visited the University of Lugan and know that their business and management expertise is well respected. Likewise, the BSTU is known as a leading engineering university. This program brings together the best of both worlds. And the students acquire competence that is very attractive in the job market. Good for you. <laughs> Research and education are essential for any society that wants to develop and prosper. And for us, located in the north, close to the Arctic, knowledge is the key to addressing the challenges and taking advantage of the opportunities that this region offers in a sustainable manner. I am glad that research and education constitute such an important pillar in the relations between our two countries. Russia has an impressive space program, and Russia shares its knowledge and ex expertise with Norway. Our two countries cooperate closely in the space technology field. We work together on the space station MIR, and Norwegian research work has benefited from valuable input from Russia. Later this year, a small Norwegian satellite will be launched by a Russian Soyuz rocket. The satellite will be important for shipping and for search and rescue services in the Barents Sea. This cooperation is based on our joint determination as Arctic coastal states to ensure safety and preparedness in this area. It, is, it also reflects Russia and Norway's broader cooperation in the high north. This is a region where knowledge and the sharing of knowledge is vital. 
Meeting you uh, today brings back memories from the years that I studied abroad at Berkeley in California and in London. Interacting with other students and discussing different worldviews, cultures and ideas was really a fantastic experience and I hope that you feel the same way. I am pleased to note that almost 1,600 Russians are currently studying in Norway. They contribute significantly to the diversity and quality of Norwegian higher education and to the good relations between our two countries. Your university has welcomed a number of Norwegian exchange students, and some of them are here today. Are any of you Norwegian by all the students? Could you raise a hand? Yeah? We have a few here in front. Good. Um, but the number of Norwegian students in Russia can still be increased. We need to work harder to encourage more Norwegians to study here. I am proud, however, uh, that actually seven of my delegation here today has spent some time studying in Russia. They have benefited greatly from their experience of Russian academia and not least of Russian hospitality. This morning I attended um, the opening of uh, the plenary of the three Norwegian-Russian business seminars here in St. Petersburg. The participants have discussed a wide range of issue issues technological developments in the oil and gas and maritime sectors, and closer cooperation within tourism and seafood sectors. I was impressed by the amount of participants from uh, Russia and Norwegian companies, and this provides for sure that our partnership is broadly based. I do hope that some of you present here today will take part in developing the business cooperation bet between our countries in the future. Russia and Norway have never been at war with each other. But, we, um, but when we look back in time, and when we look at the rest of the world today, one thing is certain. We should never take peace for granted. Some of you may have grandparents who lived through the Leningrad blockade from 1941 to 1944. Their stories may well have um, shaped your lives. As you know, Norway was under Nazi occupation at, the, at that time. And it was Soviet forces that liber liberated our grandparents' generation in eastern Finnmark in 1944. In October, we will celebrate the 70th anniversary of the liberation of eastern Finnmark, together with our Russian friends. We want to honor the men and women who freed this part of Norway from the Nazis. And we want to help the younger generation in our two countries, young women and men like you, to remember and keep alive this important episode in our common history. Knowing our past makes it easier to face the future. Seeking knowledge, like you do, and sharing knowledge, like you do, is important to secure a peaceful and sustainable future. I believe you are helping to realize Yuri Gagarin's um, words as he was looking down at our planet. Let us preserve and increase this beauty. Thank you for your time.